learn the fundamentals of Tin Can before exploring the pod further on your own. All right, let's give the tutorial a go, eh? Hey, Jerry, uh, can you hear me? Could you do me a favor? I was supposed to do the maintenance of one of our old Medusa skate pod, but I'm stuck in the engine room fixing our damn reactor. Could you leave your cleaning trolley for a minute and uh, help me out? Just get inside the pod. You can't miss it. You're right next to it. All right, I'm going to turn down the mouse sensitivity of it. Can't you move around pretty slowly? This pod is a piece of junk, not worth any maintenance, but I don't make the rules. Anyway, I was supposed to reassemble the oxygen system. Could you do it for me? It's pretty straightforward. Alright. Could you locate the oxygen system and open it? Uh, you should see three drawers against the wall. It's the top one. Yep, this is the one. As you can see, it's empty. All the components are behind you on the workbench. Just grab a couple so we can get started. Just put all the components back inside the oxygen system. Uh, you can't get it wrong. They all only fit in their respective spots. Um, I'll be right back. I'm so in, I'm in trouble. The fuck? Maybe if you get closer, then. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Already, this is this is looking like trouble. Jerry, uh, you should be done by now. Just turn the oxygen system on using the on off switch. Where's the buzzer go? Well done. Uh, now we just need to check if everything is working properly. Could you look at the monitor and switch to the error codes channel? Perfect. Um, now, as you can see, the oxygen bottle inside the system is empty. Could you swap it with the oxygen bottle located in the recycling station? That's the one. Uh, the recycling station converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Pretty useful, eh? Anyway, just uh, replace the empty bottle with this. All right, we're done. Nice. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you can go back to your cleaning trolley. Wait, damn it. Are you still there? I'm detecting a leak in the pod. Could you uh, get... You might have to climb a bit. Uh, you can grab a handle with your free hand to get closer to the leak. Once you get closer to the leak, just uh, aim at it and use the leak feeler to close it. Well done. I'm not detecting any leak anymore. Uh, we're all good. Thanks for your help. Anyway, I gotta go. This damn reactor is driving me crazy. Okay. We roughly know what happened there. Vital needs. You have to be quite precise about where you're aiming Jerry? to put the parts Can into you hear the... Me? Thing. Sorry to bother you again, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room, and I still don't have time to take care of that damn Medusa escape pod. We're going to check to see if the life support systems of the pod are working properly. 
I'm going to need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. First, let's make sure that we have what we need to breathe properly, alright? So, on Earth, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is 1 bar, and the oxygen level is around 20%. That's our target. As you can see, we're all good here, and the value is green. But if the value turns red and drops below 16%, you'll find yourself in hypoxia. It's not a good thing, as you can imagine. The opposite is also true. Too much oxygen can also be deadly, so always keep an eye on these values. So, the yeah, pump inside the 20. oxygen system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bottle into the air. Below the oxygen system you'll find the carbon dioxide scrubber used to get rid of the excess of CO2. I need you to turn it on as well. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is just as deadly as not having enough oxygen. Your body breathes O2 in and exhales CO2. The value should never rise above 6% at one bar. Right, now let's check the pressure CO2. generator uh, just below the CO2 scrubber. So this system is here to maintain the atmospheric pressure at one bar by releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The pod cannot sustain more than 1.7 bar, so be careful with too high pressures. It's also important to remember that the required oxygen levels and the lethal levels of CO2 vary depending on pressure. Alright, we're good for the atmospheric systems. Now let's turn the temperature system on. It must be getting quite cold in here. You know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. I mean, sure, without heating you'll eventually freeze to death, but in a pod like this one, equipped with a hot atomic pile, you need some way to stay cool if you don't want to be cooked. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important when you're running the atomic pile at full power. Alright, you should be feeling warmer now. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Thanks for your help. You can go back to your work. And I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't cook us all in the next few hours. See ya. So... One bar... 20%-ish oxygen, lost 16, 6% carbon dioxide, any high is bad, and temperature. Hey Jerry, uh, it's me again. I need your help with the pod. So I was installing a new atomic pile inside the pod and guess what? I had to go back to the engine room of our ship because the reactor is acting up again. So could you get inside the pod? So I'm going to cut the external power connection so we can test the new atomic pile. It's going to get dark in here, but don't worry, we'll bring life back to that old tin can, alright? Alright, I need you to find the main reactor. It's located on the ceiling above the gravity generator. I need you to open it. Yep, you got it. Uh, now just turn it on, alright? Perfect. You shouldn't see much of a difference right away. It takes a moment for the atomic pile to warm up. The hotter it gets, the more power it produces. Do you see the ammeter below the generator? Mm -hmm. So now Oops. I'm going to remotely lock the pile temperature for some tests, but in normal circumstances, it's the processor plugged into the main generator that controls this temperature to provide the required amount of power. I guess I don't need to tell you what happens when it breaks down, huh? See, the pile temperature is stabilized and the needle is not moving anymore. Could you turn the main computer on so I can look at the system stat? Damn it, I've locked the temperature too soon. And there isn't enough power. 
Could you, could you turn other systems off so we can save enough power to turn the main computer back on? Just keep an eye on the needles. You need to align them. Pretty close. Perfect. I'm getting the data. Thank you. Oh. If you ever have to operate an atomic pile, keep in mind that it's slow, capricious, and that it can get very, very hot. So uh, always make sure to protect your systems with a fuse and a transformer in case of overload. Anyway, it seems the new atomic pile is working fine, so that's it for me, and you can get back to your cleaning. Okay, fuse for my atomic pile. Maintain your beacon online for rescuers to find you and unlock new components and systems to survive longer in following scenarios. Alright, here we go. First proper run survive six minutes didn't complete the tutorial maybe i didn't do the tutorial but i did it maybe i needed power hey jerry i know i know this is the last time i swear okay. thanks again man you have no idea how much work it is to keep this escape pod in working order. Honestly, I, I would rather die than have to escape in this thing, even after a bunch of repairs. <laughs> anyway, the oxygen system has a problem and I need you to check the error codes channel on its monitor. Perfect. You should have the error list in front of you. The main computer usually translates the codes, but I had to take it offline for a while. I need you to find the pod operation manual. Everything you need to know about the pod is in it, including the error codes. So unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab this is the defective the oxygen generator, which is on page which one nine. Oh, and uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything, all right? Doesn't say error codes. Hey, Bon Francois, I'm doing good, mate. Oh, here it goes. Here we go. Page 25. Uh, so we've got main comp offline, zero BEA. Zero BEA. Zero BEA, page 31. Bad power trans. Which was on page 31. Power transformer is damaged. It's no longer protecting systems correctly from power surges. Okay. So I need to do something about the power transformer. Uh, I don't think there is... So unfortunately I can't really help you from here. 
So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you oh, grab the defective component. Once, yeah, I had a feeling this transformer wasn't working properly. I need you to use the repair station to fix it. Put the transformer inside it and it will tell you how many spare parts are needed for repairs. Do you see the numbers on the repair station? So the top screen indicates how many spare parts are required to fix the components and the bottom one how many you currently have. So we don't have enough. We need to dismantle something else to get more spare parts. Just take the transformer out of the repair station. All right, so let's dismantle a component we don't need. I think I left a monitor on the workbench. Uh, put it inside the repair station, close the, well done. You now have enough spare parts to fix the transformer. You can throw the monitor away, it's dead now anyway. Just put the transformer inside the repair station and press repair. Sometimes I get a little bit confused when to left click and when to use F to do something. You can now put the transformer back inside the oxygen system. Uh, make sure it's turned off first. All right. Uh, once you're done, you can turn it back on. Well done. You're really doing me a favor, so thank you. Uh, you can get back to your cleaning trolley, and I'm going to get back to work because this damn reactor is driving me mad. All right, it looks like it's good. Jerry, the ship's cooling system just failed. Warning. The reactor is reactor going to blow. You need to grab evacuate as many components as you can in the storage rooms and evacuate right now. No matter Warning. what you do, do reactor not leave aboard that damn... Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. <laughs> this is not a... Okay, well that's how it happened, eh? That's how we ended up in the tin can. Yeah, it's like a su survival, I don't know, puzzle game. You have to like try and repair your space pod, I guess, to try and stay alive for as long as possible. It'll look kind of interesting. Five seconds to spare. I think I got as many components as I reasonably could have there. So, got a few spears kicking around. God, that was really low res. Oh boy. Maintain the right or left click press. Or aiming at a handle to move around in zero G. Use left shift and left control to move up and down holding a handle. Zero G, what's going on? Maybe I'm not in zero G yet. Carbon dioxide scrubber. <laughs> oh my God. 
Main comp offline. Temperature, I'm doing alright on temperature. My lights are on. Turn my lights off. Round monitor. Power connector. These monitors are not working. Oh shit. It doesn't look like it. But what is this? NA82. NA82. Low pump. Oh shit, there's an on off switch. Um, oh shit, what the fuck is it missing there? What is that? Well, yeah, I don't have a fucking oxygen generator because my, my parts machine's not damn well working, is it? Station integrated screen. I'm missing a part from the fucking repair station. What is what am I missing? I'm missing like everything. I don't have anything in my repair station. I'm dead, boy. <laughs> yeah. I survived 5 minutes 42. Oxygen 7%. So I ran out of oxygen. A damaged button can fail to trigger properly. Always make sure the system is properly turned off before grabbing electrical components. Alright, so that was a real mess because my oxygen system was broken. But my fucking parts repairer was also broken, and I didn't know how to fix my part repairer. Meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod 
sure to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Alright, here we go, boys. We're in. We've got some parts. Slightly different slick shot parts this time around. Let's see how we do. What the fuck is this? Okay. Oops. Okay, so none of that seems to be... Uh... Comp offline. Okay, they're on. All my systems are on. But we don't have a parts repairer again. It looks like I need a fuse. Yep. Um. Master caution on my oxygen generator. Okay, toggled it. Didn't seem to matter. Oh. Oh, my oxygen level's dropping. Uh, NA82, 17H. NA82, 17H. NA82, low pump. Pump is not working properly. Place the pump. 17H. Oxygen generator. There's a leak in the pot. Oh, we got just the pump. No leak in the pot. Oh, we solved our first issue. Damn, he's good. Still need to get this parts repairer going though. What the fuck is this? Gravity generator. Maybe I'm supposed to steal parts from like... Some stuff to get this going. Master one. On off switch. Master Caution, filled that in. On off switch. What else needs to go in there? 
Master warning. Okay. What else needs to go in there? Power transistor, probably. What goes in at the back there? Power transformer, fuse, got a fuse. CRT monitor. So far, so good. 48 seconds left. Good on temperature. I think we're going to make it, boys. Six minutes. 38 seconds left. Still need to figure out how to get this repair station working, though, don't I? I turned it off. Uh, only a fuse can help you get free of electrocution. If a fuse is missing when touching a section, you're dead. Okay, it lasted six minutes though. Six minutes 45, in fact. Breath here, this is quite stressful. Is that when you get you, when the money hits your account? Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate. Alright, that was a bad. Let's go start again. That was a bad selection of stuff. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. I'm looking for a few of the others. Warning. Storage. Here it is. So I think that's the goal, right? Try find out what's where. This is not a drill. So we know what to uh, take. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Monitors in this one. Data connectors, large processor. This is not a drill. Okay. Warning. I don't think I've seen any power transformers in any of these. Maybe in here. Pumps in there. Aha, power connector, large power connector. High capacity fuse. Power transformer, okay, so we need to come into this one for sure. Get a power transformer. Power connector, fuse. Okay, there's all all the juices in this one off the side. So I think the strategy will be in this initial room, we take two two parts, run into the pod with them, and then we go out into the corner, grab a power transformer and maybe a fuse. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the 
And I guess I'll take an air filter. CRT monitor. Pump. On off button. Alright. Different selection of parts this time around. Power connector. Uh huh. Thought I had one of those gr on the ground. Oh shit. Took a big knock. Main comp offline. Oh, here we go. NA82. Low pump, pump is not working correctly. Oh shit. I don't have, I, I can't get it going though. Seventeen H. Pod low oxygen. Air leak, perhaps. You're doing right, seventeen per cent. Transforms, already got one. The power connector. What else does this thing need? This parts fixer. Oh, there it is. 
it's functional. No data. Fuck, no data. What does that mean? Large processor, maybe? No. Maybe I have to look up a guide or something. Looks like uh, carbon dioxide's going up a little bit. No, we're good, we're good. Could even switch it out. Where are we at? 55 seconds to go. Do I need a power transformer? got one of those. Um, data connector. No. Large power connector. No. Maybe I'll Jerry? look up. Can you hear me? It's me. I'm aboard rescue ship. We're almost there. Just Keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home, all right? Nice. Bring me home. All right. Mission accomplished, boys. First stage done. Just had to swap the pump around from the atmospheric generator to the oxygen. Congratulations, you got rescued. Now I can get a large battery. God, look at what's up with the resolution on that. Um, I got to look up guide. Tin can fix parts. Pier station. Will run on a large battery for five minutes. Okay, does it need a? It needs a battery maybe to run the repair station. Maybe that's why I couldn't do it until now, because I've just unlocked a large battery. components alarms CRT monitor route power switch so we have both of these internal battery I didn't have a battery didn't have a buzzer I had a data connector but it wouldn't allow me to use it Power connector, power transformer, fuse. I had all that. But I couldn't use the data connector. I guess I need a battery, maybe? A CRT monitor, brackets round. Alright, let's try a 10 minute survival. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. 
This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest... That was a bad selection of parts this time round. Didn't do too well. Got a large battery, but I think I'm missing... Missing some stuff. Two in OA. Two in OA. Two in OA. On battery. Page twenty six. Power received by system is too low. Okay. So does that mean I need a new power coupler maybe? good fix some problems before they even become problems that's how you do it boys now i got all this time in the world to try and uh figure out how to fix my parts repairer Need a round CRT, I think it said, right? Like this round monitor. It's so only one of those on the rescue beacon. I don't really want to dismantle the rescue beacon. Hey, lady, right, suit. What else do we need? Mass. No data. Can't see anywhere to put the data connector though. need a power coupler, don't I? Well, everything's cruising at the moment, but I need a round monitor if I want to get this thing going. Lights went off. What was that? Oh, two in OA, two in OA, two in OA. What does that mean? Partial battery.
open this bad boy up. We're in trouble. We're low. Turn that off. Turn that off. Low on power, boys. BKEE. -E. Oh, shit. What the fuck is BKEE? -E? Empty bottle on the uh, oxygen generator. All right, just two in OA now. We're low on power some reason. Maybe we turn off the uh, heating. Don't think there's anything else I really want to turn off at the moment, is there? Doing well on all the main... Oh! AR-22 on the pressure generator. What is that? Dirty filter. Dirty filter. Do I have a filter? Hmm, I do not have a filter. On the pressure system. Oh! Oh boy! Everything's going to shit. All right, turn that off. Oh. AR-22, ABT-6, NA-82. Oh my god. NA-82, low pump. Do I have any pump? Pump. Oh shit. Um, KA2. High CO2. Full bottle. Low battery. AR-22. Oh boy. Oh boy, that thing's fucking monitors on the fritz. Oxygen, oh, CO2 boys. AR22. I think it's a filter issue, right? Dirty filter. NA-82 
Oh boy, how much have we got? 42 seconds. I don't think we're going to make it, boys. <laughs> oh, I'm about to die. No! Twenty-six seconds. Harry, can you hear me? It's me. I'm aboard the rescue ship. I'm almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home. All right. Okay, we're good on power at the moment. Do I do it? Hey, yeah, level two, baby. Yeah, yeah. CO2 to O2 recycler I can get now. I think, I th was mine working? Maybe mine wasn't working. I swapped the bottles out, but maybe it wasn't functional. Thanks, lady right too. Try to fix Co3 bugs. Yeah, I'm, f I'm working on a video at the moment about Co3 uh, like machine guns. How to fix like, all the bugs and that, and just in general, how to address the overperformance. A lot of bugs. Found another bug while I was testing as well. You know how machine guns, heavy machine guns have like the force reload ability? Where you can manually cause them to reload so they don't reload at the start of a fight. That doesn't reset the burst length. So if your machine gun was close to an end of a burst, it could fire for like a quarter of a second or whatever, then go on cooldown before, you know, starting to shoot a full burst again. Okay. So I don't think we really need switches. I can just kind of steal switches and master things off other spots. Like I'll get them if, if I need to. But in the early dash for parts, I don't think I need switches. Fuse, power connector, battery, all very good. What else do I need at the start? I need to have a plan before I launch into this next mission. Fuse, power connector, battery, uh, transformer or whatever, right? Power transformer. Um, data cable. CRT monitor. I don't have a CRT monitor yet round CRT monitor but there is a CRT monitor in one of the rooms see what see what I can do warning reactor lockdown imminent evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately this is not a drill warning
Okay, here we go. The other scenarios? No. I think they just go lo long, longer and longer, and what happens during the flight changes. Two in OA. Okay, what's two in OA? On battery. It's, it's powering up. It shouldn't be on battery for too long, I don't think. Could even turn this off. And then they're fine. That, can I do that? Yep. Okay, we're not on battery anymore. That's good. CRT monitor does not go in there. Power connector. Power transformer. Battery. Air filter? No. Data connector. Oh, that's where the data connector goes. Interesting. Okay. Large processor. Nope. Current parts zero. Required parts empty. Is it functioning now? Kind of looks like it's functioning now. Holy shit, he's done it. Good down there. Good on the temperatures. Good on the power. Not overheating. Oh, it's kind of blue outside this time around, eh? Increasing the amount of power it's giving me. Did I just get clobbered again on this fucking thing? How do I diagnose this thing being fucking broken? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Transformer. Why 
high capacity fuse. I need a high capacity fuse, I think. Large processor. I did not bring a high capacity fuse. So I think I'm going to die. All right. So I need to bring a high capacity fuse to this scenario. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Oh. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod. Okay, this is not going to work. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate. to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate. No, there's nothing good in that room. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown That's why I need high capacity fuse. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod Here we go. We got the large fuse or whatever this time around. So I guess this is what it's going to do. It's going to give us like the same obstacles, but depending on what we pick up in the early game, we'll be able to overcome it or not. In this case, we need to have a high capacity fuse, which we have this time around. Two NOA on battery power. To bring the main generator down. I think as it heats up it'll uh, get rid of the battery power issues, so that's fine. Just like last time round. Chilling in space. So, high capacity fuses out the back there. Large power connector. I don't know if I got a large power connector. Oh yeah, I got a large one. I got a large battery. I do not have a large power transformer. I don't think there is a large power transformer. Um, in my rooms at the moment, so I, I hope that's just the fuse that broke. It's back here. There's my temperature control system. seeing if there's any uh, things I can steal from in here in the future. So first time around I think we just restart this and it should come right but then after the second shot we need to change the fuse. Oh wow you can zoom in with uh, clicking the middle mouse button. go through the
I think if we leave it off for a little bit longer for the second... Shit. Large fuse didn't reset it. Um, uh, hello? Uh, why did that not work? Shit. either. Maybe the power connector's gone. Okay, there it is. Say master caution. Oops. Um, hypoxia, yeah, too much CO2. I don't know, I changed the fuse and the... power connector. Which seemed to semi-get things working, but it kept blinking caution. However, checking its screen, I couldn't see any errors with it. I'm curious enough to try this again, if I'm honest. I think that might be enough of this game for today. It was okay. But, I don't know, like, doing trial and error, like having to wait, sit through all that stuff at the start of the game for like, you know, five minutes before anything happens, so I can do a lot of trial and error to try and fix something. not that it's interesting I guess for me fixing stuff with the parts that's all good but 
something a bit unsatisfying about how how that goes. But a pretty uh, cool idea for a game overall. I had fun. Fun for the first couple missions.